Okay, so I'm leaving the uh, Falcons game, right? <laughs> Whenever you leave a game from a stadium, mm-hmm. you want to leave as you know, as early as possible. As early as possible. Yeah, Maybe but not, not too like, early. Not, not when it starts, but like right. when you know a team has significantly won the game, right? You're like, let's get up out of here. So it was like where the, our team had just scored again. Woo! So my dad was like, we were, my dad was already like halfway out, and I was like standing up like, like, okay, cool. And then we mm-hmm. like people. Had, I just need to see this last goal. The other teams had already like their pl- fans had already like left in droves. Right. Our fans were like, we're we're still winning, we're excited. Mm-hmm. So other people, of course, they're like looking at the stadium, so they're just looking around. They're just like, let's look around some more. I'm like, get out. Why you can't? Because right, because trying when to get this out is, oh. is like sardines. It's ridiculous. And then standing at the train is already worse. Right. So you're trying to make it to the train because if you drive down there, you're an idiot. So we rushed out right. We early, we get out like early enough, like maybe seven to eight minutes before the game actually stop stops. Mm-hmm. Maybe long, maybe before then. So I hear a kid with his mom, mm-hmm. and the kid's like, "Mommy, you said we could stay until they scored again." Until and then she said, "We did." And she's like walking fast. It's like, but I didn't get to see it. It's like, but we were in the building. <laughs> <laughs> we were there. <laughs> I was like, that's why she like, it's time to go. Okay. Like, she was like, we got to get up <laughs> Before everybody else, come on. Yes. Anyway, yeah. get on to the show. Yes. So, welcome to the Real and Real Pod. My name is David, and I'm here with my co host, Want Some Mac and Cheese E. Yeah. So, here on the Real and Real, we take a concept, a character from a movie, and ask the question, what if it or they were in the real world? We take five minutes to come with three points each, and then we discuss. Eve, tell us what the question is today. The question is, what if everyone wrote and starred in their own movie? Action! I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Yes! This is based off of the movie The Disaster Artist, starring James Franco, uh, Seth Rogen, uh, who else is in this movie? A lot you know, of other people. The other Franco. <laughs> oh, the other Franco's in it? Yeah, his brother. Oh, uh, look at him. Yeah. So, if you don't know, so this is a movie about the making of the movie The Room. The Room is a horrible movie that you must see. It's regarded as one of the worst movies ever. But it is a just an enjoying thing to see together. I was told that you shouldn't watch it for the first time in theaters because a lot of movie theaters do show this every year and a group of people go out and watch it. If you haven't seen anything like this, look it up on YouTube. Just type in like The Room, uh, theaters, and you'll see people that react to the movie. They talk to it. It's a whole event. Um, If you want to actually hear what the people are saying, maybe don't go to the movie theater for the first time and watch this movie. Watch it at home and then go to the movie theater and enjoy the experience of the stupidity of this movie. It's very enjoyable. It's like the best, worst movie. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to The Disaster Artist because I saw The Room, um, maybe like a couple, like last month, and it blew me away of the amazing horribleness, but it's very enjoyable. Are you looking forward to The Disaster Artist? Yes, as soon as it comes on television. Yeah, I'm going to see this movie. I'm looking forward to it. It looks very funny and very interesting. I'm not a spoof. I won't pay to see a spoof. It's not a spoof. Oh, Right. Yeah, it's actually serious. It's actually a serious drama. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not like, it's not like one of those spoof movies. <laughs> like, it's I, like, like it's meant this, to be a horrible film because it's based off of a horrible film. No, no but it's not. But it's a, seriously it's a serious movie, yeah, it's a serious movie that might be horrible because yeah. it's supposed to no, be. No, apparently it's great. Like, people love the movie. It's great because of its horrible. No, no, no. It's great because it's great. Okay. Like, because you're seeing behind the scenes of, that's always, for me personally. Mm-hmm. The stuff that happens behind the scenes the is bloopers. always more interesting. No, not the bloopers. Oh, I like the bloopers. Blooper, bloopers. Well, I count bloopers no, behind no, the scenes. No, not that's not behind the scenes. That's like just stuff that was <laughs> with the involvement of the movie. I mean the actual stuff like, for instance, a lot of people know if you go to see Justice League that um, they had to do reshoots. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the, the just everybody they had oh. to do reshoots. Because the for oh, again, who for those who don't know, the director's daughter passed away. Oh, that sucks. He had to step away from the film. Mm-hmm. So another director came in, so they had to do a bunch of reshoots and stuff because they, uh-huh. they rewrote some stuff and what. But the interesting part, why the behind the scenes is very somewhat comical and ridiculous mm-hmm. is because the reshoots were extensive, so they had to bring the people back. Thing is that um, Superman, Henry Cavill, the guy mm-hmm. who plays Superman, he grew a, a mustache because he is um, the villain in the new Mission Impossible movie. Okay. Okay. So that'd be interesting. 
But Superman does not have a mustache, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> obviously. Very chiseled, so, clean cut kind clean of guy. Face. So they were going to bring him back, but they're like, oh, we need to shave the mustache. But Par- I think it's Paramount. If it's, it's, it's Universal. I forgot who was doing the Mission Impossible. But anyway, mm-hmm. they're like, no, no, no. You can't Wait, shave his mustache because of... he's a villain in our movie and we need that mustache. And then WB is like, well... It's easier to CGI on a mustache than the CGI. Or why can't we just use a fake one? Like y'all act like we ain't got this. Yeah, like a fake <laughs> thing now to put the mustache back on. All right. But so then WB apparently like did a whole CGI and mm-hmm. like sent them like, hey, look, we can do it. We'll pay for it. And they're like, no. So they don't like them apparently. Oh my so goodness. when you hear stuff like that behind the scenes, it's just like mm-hmm. the crazy. So when just you seeing it play out. Yeah, seeing it play out. So when you see the room. And then you read like Wikipedia mm-hmm. and you hear the stuff that was going on. Like, you're just like, how? How did any of this happen? Like, the man had two cameras. He had digital 35 millimeter. Can't he put them both that. next to each other and he was like, I want to be the first to do it. But he only used film from one. What was the point? One, one guy said, Hey, I don't have time to be in this whole movie. And he told them up front. So then midway through the movie, he disappears, but someone else gets his lines and you're like, who's this guy? Oh my God. He's continued. They continue with the they same continue, character. They, continue, they don't give him a name. He's just oh. like, he starts giving like, for instance, let's say the, the main person like has some, like some, going, like feeling down or whatever. Mm-hmm. And this guy comes up, man, I really don't think you do that. And you're like, who are you? Like, <laughs> why are you so integral in this person's life? You were not here. You never been here. You've never been here. Been and he's like, you know what? You're right. You're always there for me. I'm like, yeah, he is. This? Like, since when? Since when? Like, random stuff in the movie. So That's hilarious. And it leaks out onto the like another thing that he wrote like behind the scenes is the character says he has a he has a girlfriend that will is his fiance. Mm-hmm. He never uses the word fiance. He always oh. uses future wife. And future husband is throughout the script. Never the word fiance. You'll never hear that word. Just randomly. In the movie, there are framed pictures of spoons. Never explained. Just, never explained. Just there. So, just there. So when I want to see behind the scenes of maybe they'll show why these decisions were made. And if you see the trailer, you can see they show basically not the part where he comes out, he's saying the line, he forgets the line, but the portion where the director comes in and says, Hey, this fake alley looks just like that real alley. He's like, Yeah. So why don't we just film in the real alley? It's like, cause this is movie. Like that's the mentality. Oh my. <laughs> oh, oh, sweetie. Like it's just like <laughs> I don't even know if I should argue with your thought process. Like, oh. You're serious. Okay. Yeah. yeah, he's like, he's like, okay, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I don't think you argue with that yeah. thought process. You just, <laughs> you just go in. You're for so real. So that's why I'm looking forward to the disaster artist. I'm like, this is this has gotta be like Aww. I want to see behind the scenes of how this how this all played out. It was, sounds amazing. But yeah. Anyway, on to the show. show. So the point was, what if you had to write, What if everyone? What if everyone wrote had to write and star? In your own movie, mm-hmm. okay. We're gonna take five minutes to come with three points each. Three, two, one, go. And we are back. I don't know what you're listening to us on, but you can find us on iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Google Play, YouTube, SoundCloud, Podbean. We also have a Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. All of that at Real In Real Pod. That's R E E L I N R E A L Pod. And we also have an email. If you feel like send an email at realinrealpod at gmail.com. And on to the show. So the question was what if everyone had to write and star in their own movie? Ladies first. Okay. These points are not that great. They are amazing. We are sitting on the edge of our seats, pins and needles in anticipation. My first point. Amazing already. It's pre-amazing. The, the space you just delivered it. Amazing. <clears throat> great. Okay. My first point is that all high schoolers, you know, well high now. High schoolers? High schoolers. Got you. Mm-hmm, even though now I think is every time you go through a grade school like when you go through elementary and middle school mm-hmm. long story short you know your quote unquote exit exam your SATs the yes. big the big one the big yes. SATs SATs yes instead of doing the SATs to qualify you into college you would have to do a movie 
that is so ready. They'll make your your solo movie be this. This will be your. This will be what you're going to submit to colleges. And hey, you, you know your SATs. Your your movie is about anything. You can write about anything. Okay. Yes, it could be a lie. It doesn't matter. It's a it's a fictitious fictitious. It's a movie. Thing. Yeah, it's a movie. I mean, does it have to be autobiography or can it just be anything? See, that's the thing. I think in the school, we'll kind of base how they want to do it, you know? Because, like, I mean, if you're applying to Harvard. I mean, but if you're, are you, are you, are you letting me in because of my abilities or the story I'm telling? Well, your abilities are going to have to be shown in this movie. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be real. It's, it's just. Hey. What? <laughs> <laughs> It's you weird that my community college, I can make up something and be like extraordinary, but for Harvard, I gotta make a like it's gotta be an autobiography about my life. I mean, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like you know Harvard. I but I like to believe that they're really big they're on not creativity. Playful? Yeah, I don't think they're, they're boring. Fun. Oh, it's Harvard. Stanford boring. maybe. Uh, what? <laughs> Even a little Princeton. There's you know? someone in Stanford that just went, yeah. <laughs> like forget mm. you, Harvard. You let me in. <laughs> But yes, that would be jokes it, on you. Ba- the school would base their. It's just like the SATs. You have to get a certain score to apply. You would have certain criteria to meet in said I movie. I think the certain score is that I'm assuming all these movies have to be in theaters. So, oh no, I think don't. your score depends on how much money your movie makes. Hey, that should be dope. <laughs> that would be dope. A lot of people wouldn't go. <laughs> Yes, that's fair. I'm with it. I'm so with that. Yes. What's your first point? Okay. My first point is that all schools mm-hmm. would be film schools. You know, I'm happy we both are thinking schools. Yes, yes. Two of my points about schools. Because I thought, I'm thinking about the youth. They start out early. I mm-hmm. think all schools will just be based around, you still have high schools. It's right. Just, most of your curriculum is based around just film developing it, maybe acting, because you have to star in your own movie. Right. Unless... Drama class. But then, no, now, come on, because you think about it, you can get pretty... Like, you need to know about math for film, depending on what part of filming you want to be in. Like, if you want to work the cameras and stuff... But you, you got to star in it, though. So you got to know about everything. Well, yeah, there you go. But I'm saying you can still have a wide range, a wide education. Open True. education. Yeah, you got to have a bunch of mm-hmm. stuff that's going in. Have some science in there. You know, special effects. That's yeah. not science. And math, how does that have to do with No, no. Science Special math? effects can be science. Like if you want to create dry ice or bombs and stuff, booms. Oh, you're talking about that. Yeah, My yeah. mind went to visual effects, which is the computer. So yeah, you're right. Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Um, Computers, yeah. boom. There you go. I math. Think, I, don't, I don't think math has No, done. yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure you got to learn the angles and the stuff <laughs> and the whatevers <laughs> somewhere. You're a great magic. <laughs> Sure, you gotta learn the angles and the stuff or whatever that yeah, the, you know, the, the hypotenuse. Numbers, the hypotenuse. Yes, I know what it is. Just so you know, I'm not saying the word, I do know what the hypotenuse is. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> it's the math. part of trigonometry. Yeah. Or algebra. It's Good one job. of them. <laughs> but yes, what was your first point? Yeah, I think that all of them will be all schools will become film schools, so mm-hmm. all kids will learn correctly how to make so it's not like garbage in the movie theater. Okay. You know, I would you, not be disappointed with that. That all schools were film schools? Yeah. I think a lot of kids wouldn't be disappointed with that. Yeah. It'll be fun. Well, unless you just hate movies. <laughs> then that means you hate life. You're a sad person. Sad. But I'm just saying, like, yeah, it's like, uh, who wouldn't like who would hate going to school? It's like, uh, another day of making my dreams come true. <laughs> well, you not know? your dreams, because some everybody's dream not to make movies. Right. Hmm. Some to be in them, some to just build the sets for them. Yeah, but these you got to star in your movie, so you got to you got to create one. You have eventually. to star, but what part? Can you just be a clip? Like That's not starring. A starring. Oh, so role. you got to star, star. Yeah, star, star. Um, I, I mean, I, I could say I'm girl. starring in a movie, but I'm an extra. You're not you see starring me in a movie, then you You're, see me. That's the difference between the word star and extra. <laughs> When I'm starring, extra starring. You're, saying, you're, extra, you're extra starring in the background. You're right, right. Yeah, no, it doesn't work like that. Oh man! You be, now you might be the side character mm-hmm. where you're you're starring in it, mm-hmm. but you're not. You don't have most of the lines, so mm. you're like, um, mm, where's where's this movie? Maybe like I'm trying to think of a movie where it was like not equal lines, but mm-hmm. I keep thinking of. Like, I thought of Daddy's Home. I'm like, I'm sure they had a brown equal lines. Mm-hmm. I was thinking about, uh, I think it was called Two Guns with Denzel Washington and Mark Wahlberg. I was like, I think they have brown equal lines. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, The Lone Survivor. Okay, mm-hmm. where Mark Wahlberg's in. I don't know why I'm thinking about Mark Wahlberg movies. But anyway, so he's, 
You know, I'm not going to use that. The Drop, because rarely people have heard about we gonna this. We're going to get to a movie yeah. point at some point. I know, right? But <laughs> I wanted to think of a movie that a lot of people hadn't heard of and that should go see or go find and watch it. Okay, so The Drop stars Tom Hardy and James Gandolfini, which is actually his last movie before he passed away. So, oh, is it? Yes. Really good. So mm-hmm. they're both in the movie. They're both starring in the film, mm-hmm. but James Gandolfini has less lines. Mm-hmm. So technically, you would be starring in the film, mm-hmm. but it's not like about about you. It is because you are. A key okay. Point. Question. Then this is a question. What does starring mean? Because what was the movie? Was it um that Valentine's Day movie? I think that was the name of it. They're all starring in the movie. Yes, but the short, the one person, and not Angelina Jolie. What was her name? Redhead. Um, uh, Pretty Woman. She was in Valentine's movie? She was in Valentine's movie for eight minutes. And that's it. That's a cameo. That's not the same thing. Is it, see, that's what I'm saying, though. What is... Because she's a part... Of, like, her name was a part of the people that's all in this. Yeah, but your cameo. If I look at that... If I look at that... Are you sure? Positive. Because I remember Ashton Kutcher was in that movie, right? I know that was New Year's. They all look the same. Was that New Year's? You remember when Ashton Kutcher and he was, he was stuck one... in that... He was stuck in that... Um, Elevator with the girl from Glee, I think. No, I think that was Valentine's Day. I think I I'm thinking New, New Year's. Year's. <laughs> no, because New Year's is the one with um, high school musicals in it. Yeah. He wasn't in Valentine's Day. Is he the one stuck in the elevator? He's stuck in the elevator. No, Ashton Kutcher stuck in the elevator, right? Ashton Kutcher was never stuck in the elevator. I think so. No, he was, because remember he was in love with the teacher? I think he was stuck in the elevator. No, he was never stuck in the elevator. I think so, with the girl from Glee. I swear that was the story. Mm, no, no, no. Yes. No, because she, she wasn't in that one with Ashton. Yes. <laughs> Dang, they all look so alike. That was just so... The, even the poster is the same, because there's nothing but tiny boxes of all <laughs> the characters. You're like, what is this? Right. But Dang. technically a movie Because like, this is the one with um Hispanic guy. Hispanic guy was Ashton Kutcher's best friend. What is Hispanic guy? Um, George... Lopez? Yes. George Lopez. Was, was Ashton like, Kutcher's best friend? Yeah. That's an age discrepancy. That doesn't make any sense to me. Hey, um, why are they best friends? I mean, why are they friends? I don't. I mean, they just. I don't know. I, we didn't. I mean, they didn't like give the history of their friendship I'm in the movie. It's weird. Like, what were they? How were they? Like, oh, it's um, just odd. They were just friends. They were buddies. Interesting. Cool. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all of those people, yes, would technically be starring in the in the film. Like, when you have a giant cast like that, they're all are starring in that movie. Okay. So her part was because I remember her part. But she, she was, doesn't count if it's like. Eight how minutes. does she not count? It's a cameo. That's not the same. But she was in the. She was in the nameless. So cam- just because no, you can have a name in there and be a like, cameo. Well, then the meaning they have is- to legally. Put you in there, but like though, what does it really mean to star? Then all those people, most of the people that were equally on the thing, that all had a storyline. Mm-hmm. Really, they would be called star. So, what if your storyline is only eight minutes long? Then you're not in that movie. <sighs> Lame. Yeah, no, you're a cameo. Because you have some people that don't want to star in their movie. It's the rules. You got to star in your uh, movie. Okay. I'm trying to think of a, 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 a like where you could not where you could be there but not really be there like maybe your character doesn't talk a lot you're there mm-hmm. though the story surrounds you know surrounding you but you're just not a main you know you don't have all the lines so maybe you don't have to write yourself lines you can be like um Jay and Silent Bob from, mm. uh, yeah from so you're Clark's. just there and everybody you're else is there. talking everyone else is talking you're still sorry it's about you your name's in the credit <laughs> your name's on the title of the movie you are Silent Bob That's funny so I want to make it now <laughs> We just have like scenes beyond scenes, and this person just stands there and looks. Well, you could work. Your facial expressions are what people know you for. They could work out. Anyway, <laughs> whose yeah. part we are? Is it yours? Your, oh, my, it might be mine. Yeah, I think it is yours. Okay, so my next point mm-hmm. there will be no more DVDs. I'm thinking if everyone is required to write and star in their own film, uh-huh. where well, technology is going to be like, bump this. This whole we just we're trying to print out way too many movies, DVDs, discs. No, not necessarily because no? it go by quantity. Like who wants to see it? it they'll just print less. Like well, no, this now. is what I'm thinking is that people because no, you still have like I can create a movie on a Mac and I can get a DVD and make it. Yeah, so people will pass out their DVDs. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. They're no longer. I'm thinking no longer it will be accessible on DVDs and they'll just make it all on the internet. I think people still push their stuff. Of course Only you need because, to push it. Okay, because here's the oh, thing. Oh, you mean push it with DVDs? So illegal. No, not illegal. illegal. <laughs> I mean, for instance, I don't buy DVDs like that. Mm-hmm. I got to really love the movie. Mm-hmm. And still, that's a rarity for me to actually buy something. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I'm buying it, I'm buying it because I can't get access to it anywhere else. And I want to continuously have it. I don't trust buying things online because they can't take that away from you. Like, Netflix has stuff that flows in and out of their right. you know, system. So it goes in and out. People think that they own the stuff like they buy on iTunes, but I have heard stories of Pocahontas people. is on there too, by the way. Why is that? On Netflix. Pocahontas. What? Oh, awesome. 
But I have heard people who have lost things on iTunes because they lost licensing or something. So you bought it, but now mm-hmm. it's gone. So oh. it's not in your collection anymore. Oh. So I was like, because I was going to start a digital collection because I was mm-hmm. like, I don't like physical things. You have to move. I'm a, I'm a minimalist. I don't want to, not lose, I have to keep it clean or whatever it's got to be. I don't mm-hmm. want it. So it's like, I want the least amount of things. Mm-hmm. I have a collection of shot glasses, as you know. They're right. still in their box right now. I'm trying to figure out who I'm going to give them to because <laughs> I, I don't want them anymore. They used to the, be your thing. The only ones I'm going to keep, which is really funny because other people are giving me them as gifts. The Falcons one that my baby sis got me like my last birthday. Like, and Ooh, they're still in the me. box. I have not opened them. No. They're just sitting there. So it's like, yeah, I don't want all these. So it was interesting for someone to care, get so many shot glasses, but I'm taking no shots. I ain't taking no shots. Well, I could take no, shots. Alcohol. No, uh, alcohol. No, alcohol. <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. Take a shot of milk. Shot of milk. Mm. Yeah, gaseous all night. But anyway, so. Because <laughs> you're aging. So, yeah, so I will buy DV, I will buy like Blu rays mm-hmm. because I can't get it on a, a site and I'm not going to pay for it for it to be mm-hmm. taken away from me later on. I mm-hmm. have the physical copy. I own it now. You can't take it away from me eventually. Mm-hmm. Like, it's mine. So, right. I think that people will have where, yes, I think there will be a site because if everyone's making DVs, there's got I mean, if everyone's making movies, there's got to be a site that's holding all this stuff. Right. No one's going to want physical copies of all these. Like, I love right. all these movies Every, this year. I got my I bought- neighbors. I got <laughs> my daughters. Yeah. I got my brother. And like, but I think people will be pushing there. It's like, yo, man, I got to, you know, check out my movie. You know how they do music? Right. I think they'll do that. <laughs> yo, check out my movie, yo. Out my movie. I starred in and wrote That's it. That's a lot, though, to be dedicated to. That's a lot. Like, because I... You- Music is one thing where I can listen to two tracks and be like, nope, your movie, I gotta be like, wait a second, I gotta sit down and visually, like, at least your music I can put in my car and drive along to. Well, I can't because I don't have a CD player, but... You don't have a CD player? There is not one. See? Found out a funny way because we bought a CD. Then we got in the car and was like, looking around <laughs> like, where do we stick it? And then we were like, pushing buttons, like, maybe it'll pop out. Maybe we're missing something. You never know. These just, new cars, you never just, know. Just be little, little just, hidden spots. Just not there. But I never bought CDs. My sister bought it because I always buy MP3s, mm-hmm. which is very beneficial for my new phone because now I can actually buy it and it goes straight to my phone. Mm-hmm. Uh, with the iPhone, I hated buying stuff off of iTunes because you can't share it. So I never used it to. Couldn't go, it didn't go straight to your thing? If I bought stuff off iTunes, mm-hmm. it would come straight to my phone. But you can share it from there. I can't. I don't know. You can't share it, period. Mm-hmm. If I sent you a song from iTunes, it's going to be like, okay, this person does not have authorization of this song. Because they didn't pay. So they didn't pay. So, oh, no, no, but no. But for Google or Amazon or anybody right. else, I buy it. I can send it to whoever hey, I want Hey, check to. out this yeah, song. Yeah, check out this song. Boom. There you go. So, yeah, I think that wouldn't work for me with the CDs because I'd be like, I, don't, I got nowhere to play it. So right. I, got nowhere to play it. <laughs> I can't watch a movie I if, watch I wanted to. if I wanted to. So right. it'd be mm. like that. So, but I do, I, I think there will be less DVDs. Less DVDs. But I think people will be pushing their own DVDs. I don't think there will be illegal DVDs because it's their own. All right. Well, I'm thinking maybe of like um, illegal. You want my movie on the low? <laughs> <laughs> I stole it from a website. It's or my own it's movie. Still, someone else's movie. You know, like, hey, hey, yo, did you see David's new film? That yo, new He's... Kanye West is ridiculous, right? Son. I feel like it'd be something like that. Like oh some yeah! Star. Oh my goodness, he would come out I with a movie. He, I, the rule is you have to make one. He make like ten a week. Yeah, <laughs> just guys, just guys. One just for Kim. Yeah, and then one just for the baby. And then the other baby. Actually, I watched it. Like cute babies, sure. Very, very make, artsy. Be very artsy, though. They'd be very cute babies. They make some really good babies. Yes, yes, they yes, do. Yes, they yes. do. Okay, your so, next point. My next point: sticking with schools. Okay. Popularity in schools would be switched from. I don't know why people are popular because they're attractive or they're they're just comical or like popular for stuff like that. Uh, they will now be popular for their movies box office. How much mm. money their movie makes. Mm. So anybody who makes a great movie. Oh. So loud. Oh. oh. <laughs> like rustling leaves. If you hear any of that, it's her skin. Like, which is so soft. And that's the sad part. It sounds loud. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, they'll be based off the box office. So mm. like anybody could be, I was going to say famous, popular in their school. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, what's yours make? My made a bill. What? I don't think any kid's making a bill. But hey. like my May thirty thousand opening weekend. What crazy? That's interesting. That's, yep. a, that's an interesting take. Yep. Don't love it, don't hate it. Yeah, I like it though, because um also the funny part is it's it's kinda I was trying. I was trying to create this thing where it was a video that showed basically being number one at the box office means nothing. Right. It literally means nothing. Mm-hmm. People think it means that the movie's doing well. No, it doesn't. 
because it's many factors of there could be nothing else out. Uh, this other movie that was successful could be in like his fourth week. Mm-hmm. Um, blah, blah, blah. There's multiple reasons why you could be number one and it right. mean nothing. For instance, one of my favorite movies of the year is called Blade Runner 2049. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were the number one movie for I think maybe a week or maybe two weeks. I can't remember. They financially weren't doing well. Mm-hmm. But nothing else came out, mm-hmm. so it's still the number one movie. Mm. And like, for instance, Justice League, number one movie for a week, but not means that. nothing because um, it's like it's barely making. I mean, it's trying to make its money back because it costs like three hundred million to make. Oh God, yes, it's okay. yeah. So mm. during the summer, mean, number one means absolutely nothing because the next week another <laughs> movie will come be out and knock you out and be number one. But also, it doesn't mean that it will be financially. Like it's you're just, gonna get back and yeah, break even. Yeah, it's her what you put like into you're the just movie. beating the other movie that came out in its second week. You could still suck more than the other movie. Right, still be back. So it'll it's like a thing of like, like oh Tyler my Perry. movie made this much money, but it could mean nothing. Right, but now this actually does mean something. Like my movie made this much money. I am popular in your faces. Ooh, for this day or, or week. This, for this week, yes. Right. Well, you could it could be like all time popular. Mm. Like because your movie could come out and your movie makes it's not by opening. See mm-hmm. in school in, in movie theaters, of course it's about opening. In school, it's mm-hmm. not by your opening number weekend. Okay. It's about who grosses the, the most. most. And we're gonna go probably during do like periods. A, during periods. So it'll probably be like mm. last year who gross whose movie grossed the most. That's okay. who is okay. popular this year. Then the next year is the pr- about the previous year. Mm-hmm. It's like that. So your movie might have opened bigger, like you opened up like a hundred mil. Right. But I mean, Everybody went you. to see that 100 mil, and it was like, that's all you made. Like, you made, like, you topped out at, like, 200 mil. Mm-hmm. My movie probably opened at 50 mil, but it was, like, steadily growing. Right. And I made, like, 600 million at the end of the year. I'm like, I'm more popular than you in your face, Janet. It's Could like be a that. thing. Yep, yep, yep. What's my your bad. last point? I don't like Tell my last point. What it is. Because it doesn't make sense. Nothing makes sense. This is an imaginary world that we created. Let's try this point. Okay. Executions would now. <laughs> Why do you make that face? Executions. Why are there executions? Oh, you mean oh, in jail? jail. Mm-hmm. I, when you said that, my mind went back to guillotine. <laughs> I'm like, oh my what God. era did we skip back to? Like, what? Right. Yes, no. <laughs> um, yes, executions. For those who would like to, can volunteer to have uh, have executions a part of their film. Wait. It would be like a scary movie, you know? No, no, no. Not okay. volunteer to have executions a part of the film. You mean volunteer to be use their execution to be in your film. No, no, no. We no longer do executions by um all that the other way we do them now, they all have to be done on film. All executions. No. Oh. If you're sentenced to death, your death has to be on film. So basically, I could live longer if, if no nobody one has a death scene or a movie like that has to do with death or something. Right. Like that. Or a scary movie. So we're you killing know? people on screen. So really yeah. scary movies are really getting more are legit now. Are legit now. Yeah. Okay. Ain't no fake death happening here. Okay. No, That's no. That's a little Okay, I was gonna say nasty, but more unsanitary. Because okay, here think about this. <laughs> more unsanitary. <laughs> yes, think about this. Well, just unsanitary. Think about this. Okay, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. horror film movies. This okay. is not like jail where they get. Injected. I was kind of thinking Purge when I was here. Okay, we can do Purge. Mm-hmm. Okay, Purge. Mm-hmm. People got like people are chopping people up with mm-hmm. axes. You got chainsaws, whatever. So I'm chainsawing you, right? Right. Your blood splattering all around. Mm-hmm. In your mouth. In your In eyeballs. Your mouth. I don't know what diseases you have. <laughs> <laughs> don't in worry. The movie theater, they don't care. They're in the movie. They don't seem to think about that. They're like, yeah, I got it. And it's no, like sliding over their face. I'm like, that person got an HIV. I don't know what <laughs> exactly. And you just took a whole you just took good teaspoon of it. Like you just like all up in your <laughs> mouth. You don't know what's up in there. <laughs> High blood sugar. You don't know what's up in there. And mm-hmm. you just like taking it all in. No, so. I will say I was watching Spartacus. Which fun fact: the main character dies from cancer. I gotta take that out. What? No, this is on the movie. This is on Netflix. Still a spoiler. Whatever. It's not even a movie. It's still a spoiler. <laughs> People care about that crap. Oh, a spoiler. You know, it's been out for like seven years. Yeah, I ain't watched it I yet. Think it's been out for seven. Years. It's been out for long. It's been out for four. Still, that's certain things. Maybe where it's five. Just like, don't spoil it for certain people. It's like it's like if someone's like. What? Well, what? no, no, he doesn't die of cancer in the movie. It's he like, dies of cancer as the actor. Like the actor is dead. Oh, no, that's different. Yeah, that's the actor the is dead. You said he dies as cancer. I'm thinking yeah, of the movie. He, no, no, no. He dies of cancer, like for real. Oh. <laughs> no. 
we need to distinguish that. That's not a spoiler. That's real life. Yeah, that's real life. Okay. So, yeah, the third season sucks because the He's kid, gone. Right. And they have to use someone else. And I'm like, I don't believe it. <laughs> oh, you don't? Yeah. yeah, I was very attached to the original Spartacus. I understand. Makes sense. Yes, yes. So if they're doing that real death thing. yeah. Oh, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, they be fighting mm-hmm. on there and, like... When they be slashing and stuff, and people be like, blood just be clean across the face. And I'm like, and they're just like, yeah. I'm like, no. Like, first of all, this sword could go into me easily. So why are we this Why do we need to be front row for this fight? I don't understand. Secondly, y'all just, all this brain and blood is touching you. No, no, that's not it. No. Their showers must be nastier than this. Oh, I can't even. Like, I can imagine them coming home to their wives, like, Look, we conquered. She's like, go, get in the shit. That's disgusting. And, no, you right. like disgusting. You're not sexy to me. Mm-hmm. Get out of my face. Like, Nothing cute about that. this. Okay. That's it. My last point. Oh, no, yes. What's your last point, no. David? <laughs> my last point is that reality TV shows would not exist anymore. So, oh, or should you say every show is now a movie? No, because that's too long. It's, it's still got to air on TV. So mm. <laughs> reality TV shows would not exist anymore. And I don't think you Why? can. I thought there would be a boom in reality TV shows, but mm-hmm. I like, you can't do that because those are just 30-minute shows or an hour shows. They're mm-hmm. not movies, and unless you're going to make an arc, and no one cares about that on TV. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, they would not exist anymore because, okay, if everybody's making a movie, at least, at least about 60% of the movies mm-hmm. will be reality show type based movies. Oh yeah. People are not that creative so they'll just be like this is my life and this is what I, I just did. woke up. You just woke up. So in my car. this movie is a week in the life of Janet. So it's like there we go and that's my boyfriend Chris and here we go. I feel like his name would be Brad more. So Brad and here we go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. His full name is Branton but we call him Brad. <laughs> Okay, maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that would be that cheerleader in class uh, that everyone just hates because she's so everyone. peppy and so happy. I know no, everyone, even her friends. They just wouldn't tell the truth. True, because mm-hmm. they don't want to get burned mm-hmm. and be cut out the group. Mm-hmm. Look up, bring it on, what's it called? Cheer no. smack. <laughs> it's garbage. Don't watch the movie. I was going to say, <laughs> I thought you were talking about Mean Girls when you said no, burn, no, no. so... Is that really a movie? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Speaking of that, mm. I did a flick fails on it. If you want to watch it with me commentating on it, mm. go. Yeah, you can you can go watch that. It's on YouTube and on uh, iTunes. So check that out. It's, it's something. Why I mean, it's do they garbage. keep trying to bring, bring, it, bring on. it on? Like, like, trying to bring it on? Because they can't stop like, bringing it on. But yeah, so I think that most reality TV shows would shut down because of reality TV movies mm-hmm. of people in their lives because they're not the creative to come up with some you know concept or something yeah, like yeah, that. Definitely. I'm sure there will be some avant-garde fancy reality oh, shows. Oh, like, like two extra. Like uh, half of my pa- face is black The whole movie. my soul is black. That's someone's <laughs> whole movie. An hour and <laughs> there's going to be an hour and a half of them standing there. In the mirror. Just, one eye open, the other no. eye open, close, close, we'll open, open, close, right. close. This is the movie. Right. Light flickers. <laughs> That's how my heart beats. What? <laughs> oh my goodness that oh goodness that would be hilarious I would die <laughs> if these were mandatory to watch oh of course die. you gotta watch them in class cause you need your your peers no, to critique no, oh no, I'll be like no stop it no Ooh. you know how bad it made me feel like you know and it has to be anonymous everyone has to write down their critique you ever feel so much pain that you just laugh like that's how I felt right now I was just like no I could not do that like Oh, so no. do everyone's movie? Like, okay, so The Room, which this this episode is based off of, is funny, right? And mm-hmm. you can watch it. But if movies are like that in general, like so many movies they have to watch though. Oh, I think in class you would have, it would be 30 minute increments. Because class is about an hour, depending on the class you have. Depending on what school you're in. True. Like if you have like block schedule. Like, block schedules. Isn't horrible. that like, right? It's, it's like, like, like you be in class for like four hours. <laughs> and I'd be like, who thought of this? <laughs> Oh, let's catch up on what you... On what? <laughs> what do I need? For, oh, I can't. Oh, goodness. Anyways. Even though a good teacher, you're going to BS like the first like hour and a half to two hours. You're not right. Gonna you're going to be late. Like, you no, sleep. Right. I can't be late. I can't be rude. Oh. Got to be on time. I'll be on time, but I go to sleep. Uh, teacher's not teaching anything, so it don't matter. Um, but yeah. Because always at the end of the day. Pretty much. Let's go down our points. Down, 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 down. All right. So my first point. Tell us. Instead of SATs, you would have... To submit a film. Do you have an acronym for them? F's. 
<laughs> what does SAT stand no. for? Um, standardized something test. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, I was like saying that. I know they have. Me. I was like, scan try. <laughs> oh, boom! Again? Standardized? Is it not? It's not standardized after two tests. I think it is. I think that's that what sounds it. good. Yeah, I think sounds that sounds like might. that's legit. <laughs> so, um, if Film. it's standard, so it's still standardized. Fat. No, Film standardized. It's still standardized. Oh, so I was gonna say there. filming after two tests. That could, yeah, okay. yeah, fat. <laughs> is it a test though? Yes, yes, it is. Usually filming aptitude film. <laughs> fap. 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 Have you, you done your fap yet? Have you done right. faps? Are you ready for the faps? Are you ready for the faps? I finished my faps. <laughs> oh. You What'd you get your on your last, fap? Did you say your last point? <laughs> you did it. Oh, no. Um, I didn't even say my second. <laughs> oh, that was the first? <laughs> there will be less DVDs, and all executions will no longer be done in the jail or wherever they happen, but on film. <laughs> Why do we whisper when we said it too? And say, like, it just reminds me of my nephew because that's how he talks. Like he, he whisper talks. What's your name? Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Is that his name too? Sebastian. Yeah, that's I can't. Name. Goes, that's hilarious. Sebastian. That's because that's exactly how you should say it. You that's should like, you should say his name any other way. He's just like quickly. Sebastian. <laughs> Did you catch it? <laughs> anyway, my three points are all schools would uh, be film schools. Uh, popular in school would depend on your box office success. And reality TV shows would cease to exist. And that's the show, guys. Eve, we're going to tell them where they can find you. Yes, guys. You can go on to the good old Twitter, Twitter. and Twitter. Instagram. Twitter. And an Instagram. And find me under Miss Lovely Miss underscore. Lovely underscore. Curves. Curves. <laughs> That's the intro. That's the yes. intro scene to your movie. Yeah, my movie. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you can I find can't. me at a Clark Kent type on the third. Thanks for listening, guys. Have a great day. Bye.